Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's understand how to use secrets and variables in a reusable workflow. We have a reusable workflow that builds and deploys Angular code. We have another workflow that makes use of this reusable workflow. So this workflow is called caller workflow and this is called the called workflow. Let's create a variable and a secret in the caller, caller workflow repository. So we know how to create variables and secrets. We have seen this in our previous videos. Just go to settings and click on secrets and variables. Click on actions. Then you'll see secrets and variables here. Let me click on uh, new repository secret and uh, create a secret called password. I'm giving some dummy value. So before you save this or add this secret, make sure you copied this value somewhere because once you click on add secret, you cannot see it again. Even if you click on update, the secret won't be available here. Now let's go to variables, click on uh, new repository variable and I'll create a variable called username. I'll say interview pro. Click on add variable because this is a non-sensitive information. We can see the data here and we can edit it as well. So let me edit this value and click on update variable. Now let's access these variables inside the reusable workflow. You might think that uh, if we want to access these variables and secrets inside a reusable workflow, why don't we create in the same repository where we have this reusable workflow? Uh, to clear this doubt, let me actually create uh, secrets and variables in the reusable workflow. So now I am in build deploy angular repository and uh, in the secrets and variables, let me add a secret. Uh, I'll call this um, reusable underscore password just to differentiate that this is coming from a reusable workflow repository. I'll go to variables and uh, create a new repository variable and I create a reusable variable, reusable user name. And I'll give some dummy text here, text one, two, three, add variable. Okay, so now we have uh, variables and secrets in both the caller workflow repository and the reusable workflow repository. Now let's go to this reusable workflow and actually access these values. So click on this uh, YML file, edit this reusable workflow and add a step that will access these variables and uh, secrets. I'll add a step here and I'll call it uh, log secrets and variables. Then I'll do run. Here I'll say echo. Now let's print these values. Uh, first I want to print a username which is a username from uh, the parent uh, or the caller repository. So to access uh, variables, we have a keyword called vars, vars dot user name, which is the name of the variable that I want to access. I'll copy paste the same thing, but this time it is reusable username. And the name here is reusable underscore username. Now let me do the same thing for uh, secrets as well. First, I'll uh, try to print password. And this one is, is uh, it's a secret. Uh, this is a secret, so use the keyword secrets. Then we have reusable underscore password. So let me update this and update wars to secrets. Okay, let me commit these changes and see if it uh, prints these values. Uh, I'm going to the main workflow. Under actions, I'll click on build Angular app and run it manually. Let me expand this step log secrets and variables. We can see that the username uh, interview pro is printed, whereas the reusable username is not printed. 
and password is also not printed reusable password is also not printed so this is because a reusable workflow inherits the context of the calling repository when it's uh, whenever it's invoked so this design will allow the reusable workflow to interact with data files and configurations of the caller workflow repository but uh, why do we see the variable but not the secret of the uh, caller workflow since variables do not contain sensitive data it is safe to make them directly available in the reusable workflows however secrets store highly confidential or sensitive information such as api keys tokens passwords or credentials so automatically sharing these secrets with the reusable workflows can um, expose them to unintended or unauthorized workflows right so that's why we do not have direct access to secrets whereas variables are automatically accessed in the reusable workflow so how do we access secrets in the reusable workflow for that secrets must be explicitly passed to the reusable workflow from the calling workflow uh, so this will allow the calling repository to have complete control over which secrets are shared and how they are shared so first uh, to pass the secrets uh, let me go to the reusable workflow edit it and uh, under workflow underscore call we define a section or a block called secrets and here i'll uh, define my secrets the secrets that i want to pass so i want to pass password the secret uh, password which we created in the parent repository also you can define whether this is a required uh, secret or not because this is a reusable workflow not all workflows that call this reusable workflow might want to pass this secret so you can specify that using this required attribute it can be false or true in my case i'll uh, make it uh, true so now here we should see the value of password uh, so I have defined my secret and made it a required uh, secret. Uh, in my case, I have only one secret, but you can uh, define multiple secrets here. Uh, let's say you have a secret called uh, token. You can do this and make it required or uh, not required. Let me commit these changes. So now we uh, specified that this reusable workflow is expecting a secret called password. Uh, then the next step is we have to pass this secret while calling uh, this workflow, right? So let me go to the caller workflow, which is built angular.yml, edit it, and uh, we send the secrets using uh, secrets keyword and then we pass the name of the secret so this name should match with the name of the secret that you specified here and what is the value for this uh, secret it's the secret from the parent repository and how do you access secrets using secrets dot password if you have multiple secrets you can uh, pass as many secrets as you want uh, let me commit this change because I am pushing this change it will automatically trigger the build workflow let me go to view runs and I can see a new workflow triggered here let's see if it prints the value of the secret password or not uh, let me expand uh, log secrets and variables and I can see that the password is printed and of course this is a uh, sensitive information so it is masked and it won't display the actual value but uh, the point here is it is displaying the uh, secret. Uh, so this is one way of uh, passing secrets to the reusable workflow uh, and the other way is there is a keyword called inherit. Let me edit this again. So here I explicitly specified what secret that I want to pass. But uh, let's say you have uh, many secrets and you don't want to specify what secrets you want to pass. You can simply use secrets colon inherit. 
when we use uh, inherit keyword it tells github to inherit all the secrets from the calling repositories environment automatically this way you don't need to manually specify each secret of calling the workflow in the secrets block so let's try it out let me commit the changes view runs now we should see the value of the secret password and yes i can see the value of this uh, secret so the benefit of using secrets colon inherit is let's say your reusable workflow has a new secret added you don't have to go to the individual um, workflow that calls this reusable workflow and add that secret there so yeah this is how you can create secrets and variables in a reusable workflow so what are the key takeaways from this video variables such as environment settings or configurations whatever those variables are they are available directly to the reusable workflow you do not need to pass them explicitly as long as they are defined in the calling workflows repository coming to secrets uh, secrets must be explicitly passed from the calling uh, workflow to the reusable workflow they cannot be automatically accessed by the reusable workflow use the secrets block in the calling workflow to pass the necessary secrets you can use secrets colon inherit to automatically inherit all secrets from the calling workflow and avoid manually passing each of them you can use secrets colon inherit to automatically inherit all secrets from the calling workflow and avoid manually passing each one i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you